Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachak, Wadash, the Bonner, speaking to the Apostles, and others that great millstone who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, all fool, like that to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. To all you, Akimadu, say Shalom. I am the Akira. I am coming in with a, you know, correction video. You know, unto myself, going to the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, verse 19, and Genesis, the 19th chapter, if I'm mistaken, around verse 23, 24. <clears throat> right, because I was teaching that the fire and brimstone that burned the five cities within the region, you know, over in the Middle East, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah and other cities, uh, that they got destroyed by the chariot lasers when that wasn't the case. Right, because the Spirit of God, I mean, to go into the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, break down by the beloved elder apostle Ryan Lob. And he made the mention not really the Heavenly Father fused the elements in the heavens together to, you know, launch that fire upon the place and burn it to smithereens. But here I was teaching that, what's it called? Uh, the angels went over there to smite on the chariots when really the angels went o just went over there to rescue the, the family of Lot, you know, before that coming destruction. Ryan, like the elder Yeshua said, a, hey, uh, you know, you, you put a lie in the truth. Now the truth, you know, is a lie. You know, not, not the truth anymore. Right? That's in the book of Galatians, the fifth chapter, verse 9, where it reads, How a little leaven leaveneth up the whole lump. Right? And you got leaven, yeast, which is its own successful leavening agent, and it makes the bread rise. Right? You know, now, now you could apply that to, a, you know, a leaven, really. You could apply it to a lie. Right, so lucky about that, I can more so, so lucky to how about Shemit was shy, right, sincerely, first and foremost. You know, and Lord will, you know, I don't commit that same mistake, and, you know, neither do any of you, I as well, right. I'm going to pull out the book of Proverbs, the 13th chapter, verse 5, and it doth read, and again, this, is, this, this, this correction video is, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. I'm directing this into myself. So Proverbs the third chapter verse five it doth read, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. Right? You know, uh, what's it called? Uh, you wanna 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 make sure you're getting your information from the apostles and others on down. Right? You know, what's it called? Uh then when you build up to an extent you'll be able to break down certain things. Right, but at the same time, you still want to double check, make sure it's right. All right, you know, there's always that if. I also want to pull out the book of Proverbs, the 28th chapter, verse 26. And the, GN, and the, the GNT, or the GMB, you know, the Good News Translation, Good News Bible. You know, same translation, different titles. But it reads, it is foolish to follow your own, op own opinions. You know, it's an opinion. What's it called? Uh, you got, you got the, an example would be these, you know, uh, self-proclaimed Christians out there. You know, they, they have their own views on what a precept means, you know, their own interpretations. And that's really what, you know, it's going into, you know, opinion going into how, 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 you see the, how you see the precept, how you see the verse. Right, and it reads, it is foolish to follow your own opinions, you know, your own interpretations, if you will. Be safe and follow the teachings of wiser people. You know, in this case... Uh, the men set up, established from the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemir, was shy, right? The apostles and elders, right? And all the, the men of the Lord established on down. As a matter of fact, in the book of Jeremiah, if I'm not mistaken, it says how the Lord uh, brings, uh, what's it called, uh, pastors to fear our people. Hopefully, prayer verse right there. I'll, I'll pull that out. Pastors according to mine heart. Yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah, the third chapter, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, right? You know, those are the men of the Lord set up, right? So again, Proverbs, the 28th chapter, verse 26. It is foolish to follow your own opinions. Be safe and follow the teachings of wiser, of wiser people. You know, so lean on to thine own, own, own understanding. You know, get, get the understanding from the men of the Lord first. You know, and... You know, you don't want to, you know, just sway off and, you know, uh, come up with your own thing without consulting the Yachim, right? But with that being said, I hope this correction will be better fine. And to the next one, I do say.